everyone, this is Ashley, and today we're gonna to be going over audience. So what is an audience? An audience is the people that are watching, listening, or reading something. So they're gonna be the people in these chairs. So why is an audience important? Your audience changes how you present your information. So let's practice. Here's your topic. People should buy dogs. That's what you want your audience to believe. So who is your audience? This is very important because this is how you're going to display your information to your audience. So our first audience is gonna be first graders and our second audience is gonna be adults. So let's say we're gonna be giving a presentation about that same topic on why people should buy dogs. So we want the first graders to wanna to buy dogs and we want the adults to wanna to buy dogs. These audience need different things to stay engaged if your audience isn't engaged, they will end up falling asleep and being bored. So here's how we're going to engage them. We need to figure out what do each of these groups enjoy. So first graders enjoy playing with toys, coloring, and eating food. While adults like listening to music, going on walks, and eating food. And our topic. So what does the audience have in common with our topic? So dogs like playing with toys, going on walks, and eating food. So let's see our commonalities. First graders like playing with toys and dogs like playing with toys. Adults like going on walks and dogs like going on walks. And all three of the subjects like eating food. So we can work with this. Now we need to make sure we have specific accommodations for our audiences as well. So if we're presenting to first graders, we need to understand that not every first grader knows how to read. So we might need to read out loud and also to keep them entertained, we have to use images. But for adults, they probably know how to read, but they might need a louder volume to hear since they might be losing their hearing. And they also might need things to be repeated. So here's presentation A. So we know our first graders like playing with toys and eating food. That's what they have in common with dogs. So our visual here, notice that we have not many words, but more pictures for them. We want them to think of them as cute. So we want our first graders to want dogs because they're cute and they play with toys and they eat food. So they have commonalities with them, toys and food. And they're also very cute, which is a perfect reason for why a first grader might want a dog. But adults on the other hand have different reasons for wanting a dog. So they like going on walks and eating food. So once again, we have our eating food here, but then we also have something showing that they can go on walks with the dogs. But adults want to know more than just they're cute. They need a better reason to why they should buy dogs because it costs money. So they might need some facts, like 10 reasons why you should own a dog. And then they also might need to know, like, how do you take care of a dog? Now notice this video. How to care for dogs on how it is being presented. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you the basics of dog care. First, decide if a dog is the right pet for you. Dogs are demanding pets as they need companionship, regular exercise, and proper training. Getting a dog is a big commitment and this film only covers the basics of caring for your pet. You should buy your dog from a reputable breeder or a rescue center. If these canine attributes fit your lifestyle, go get your new friend. Step one, housing and bedding. Dogs need their own bed and blanket in a quiet corner of a room where they're able to see what's going on. Okay, so you notice right away that the voice here is very monotone, and this is also real life instead of a cartoon. If you're going to show a video for a first grader, they might want a cartoon version of it and a more exciting video, while adults want to know all the facts. That's why this video is going by step by step by step on what the adult would need to know if they want to buy a dog. Okay, so as a reminder, an audience is the people that are watching, listening, or reading something, and your audience changes how you present your information. Who your audience is is very important when you are writing. All right, I hope you have a great day.